משלם, לך נשבעתי אל העליון, ולא אינה קיים, איך אעמוד בניסיון, ניסיון העושר השלם. So, today, 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 well, I'm just sitting by the Dead Sea. I'm in the Judean desert, the Judean wilderness, as some people call it. Um, just, um, I don't really know, I think I'm in the Palestine, technically, I'm in the West Bank right now. Um, and I've come here alone today just to, to be, a, be by myself a bit. Uh, maybe meet some people, but just kind of be away, you know, be away from um, everything I know for the day, if you know what I mean. Behind me you can see some of the, uh, the Judean wilderness, the, the, the mountains. I just had a really funny experience. Um, I was just exploring up in the desert. Um, I managed to get a couple of pictures and maybe a little bit of film, I think, before suddenly I'm walking on my own and suddenly there's... Um, two uh, armed guards running towards me with massive gun, like, you know, big like machine guns. Uh, two female guards. And um, they were just like, oh, running at us. I heard the, like, the <laughs> of the gravel. And I looked around, I'm like, whoa. Weirdly enough, I didn't panic. I felt a bit like, oh gosh, I've walked too far. But I didn't, um, I didn't panic and I just sort of, I started walking straight towards them. I was like, oh, sorry, I'm sorry, am I in the wrong place? They said, you cannot be here, you cannot be here. And they seemed a little bit, a little bit miffed, but they were speaking on their radio, so someone had spotted me in an area, or maybe walking towards an area that I shouldn't have been. Um, uh, it's quite amazing in Israel, in this, in the Holy Land, whatever you want to call it, Palestine, West Bank, you know, everyone has their own opinions and it, they fiercely defend them. So let's call it the Holy Land, um, which is how I think of it in my mind. It is funny being here in the Holy Land because, um, because um, you know, there's a, there's a lot of military presence and you never know when they're just going to turn up and they are monitoring people all the time and making sure we're behaving ourselves. So that was quite an experience to suddenly have them just charge upon me like that. Over there, you can see Jordan. That is Jordan. And, um, it's just, it's really stunning here. I feel really excited. Uh, yeah, I feel really excited to be here, um, especially because today is my 29th birthday. It's the 25th of November, nine, 1990. That's when I was born. <laughs> it's the 25th of November, 2019. Whoa, so I'm 29 today. Um, and I'm really excited and really happy to be here kind of alone but um, I feel really happy really just yeah joyful really joyful and um, you know you know what I mean I'm never really alone if you know what I mean there's all sorts of people here really all sorts of people uh, I don't know if you can see now there's a group, a group of three Jews coming down behind me um, and I can see people down here in front like um, Nudist, dreadlocky type people. There's only a few, it's a huge space. We really are in the desert here. It's amazing. It's amazing to be here. Still on the journey. <laughs> Whoa, flies. Wow. Whoa. Shalom. for a picnic. God bless him. Whoa. Thank <laughs> you. 
That was beautiful. Hello and welcome to the Dead Sea. I'm James D. Clayton, independent traveller, voyageur. <laughs> Hello, this is James D. Clayton and you're watching James D. Clayton. I'm here live in the Dead Sea, the lowest point on earth feeling rather high. <laughs>